Hi friends, thanks for watching! In this video, I'll show you how to easily create envelopes using a mail merge in Microsoft Word, pulling data from Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. Over here on the left, I have just a blank Word document, and then over on the right, I have a list of addresses. You'll see that we've got first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip. And basically, we need to create an envelope template in Word that's going to pull this information over from Excel and create some envelopes for us. To get started, let's come over here in Word and up under Mailings, click on Start Mail Merge, and we're going to select Envelopes. By the way, I do have videos on letters and labels. If you're interested in those, check out the Word or Excel playlists on my channel. But for this one, we're going to go with Envelopes. And there's two things you have to know before you can progress. First is the envelope options. You'll see the supported sizes here. There's quite a few, so chances are whatever size you have is going to be supported. Size 10 is a pretty common one. You'll see the preview down there. If we go out to Amazon and search for size 10 envelopes here, you'll see there's lots of different options. This is what they look like. This is just one example. You could obviously find these at your favorite office supply store as well. You might have something more like a greeting card, let's say. You'll see the size preview down there. But whatever the case may be, just make sure you've got the correct size selected here based on the physical envelope that you have. And then the second thing you need to know is your printer setup. Now this is going to differ depending on your printer. For me, you'll see that it's defaulting to this one right here, which is face up and then centered in the printer. To make this a little bit more obvious, let me show you some actual pictures of mine. And again, this might be different for yours, but you'll see that the envelope itself is face up with the address information up, and then it's centered in the feeder on the printer. Let me show you another example. You might have a printer that feeds on the left-hand side like this, but still face up on the envelope. You might have one like this, face down on the envelope, centered in the printer. So it really depends on the printer. These are just some examples to make it a little bit more clear. Hopefully they're helpful. If you aren't quite sure what to do, I would recommend going with whatever the default is. Again, this is mine here. And actually, if I choose something different like this one, you'll notice the message down on the bottom that I've changed Word's default envelope handling, and changes might be incorrect. So you could play with this, but I would just recommend going with whatever it gives you from the get-go. And then feed from, I also leave this automatically select or default tray automatically select. My printer, I know, will recognize when I have something in the feeder and it'll just grab it from there. So I'll leave automatically select and we should be good to go. So I'll click OK. And there you see it gives me a document that's the same size as that size 10 envelope. Now it might not be super obvious where to start typing. You might want to come up here to your Home tab and then click on this little button right here to show or hide. And this will show you where your return or your paragraph marks are. So this is the return address up here, and this will be your main address for the person you're sending it to. All right, so that's our basic template. Now we need to tell Word where it's going to grab the address information from. So back up to Mailings again. Here we'll say Select Recipients. I'm going to use an existing list, that Excel list that I have over there on the right. So let me browse for that. I've got it right here called Addresses and Open. Now I just have one tab in this particular workbook. It's called California, which matches up with the tab down here. If you had multiple tabs, though, they would show up here and you could select whatever one you wanted to pull the data from. Now importantly, this worksheet does have the first row with column headers, which means that over here I need to leave this selected. If I didn't have that first row and it just started immediately with the records, like Shauna here, for example, then I would deselect that. But in our case, we're going to leave that selected because we do have those column headers and click OK. All right, now it doesn't look like anything happened, but on the back end, everything is hooked up just the way we need it. The next thing we need to do is insert the merge fields. So coming up here to the little drop down, you'll see these fields match up with what we have over in Excel. So that hooking up that we just did, that pulled everything over. So now we have first name. Inserting that, you'll see it shows up in the envelope. And then I'll do a space. Insert last name, then I'll hit enter. Next we need the address, I'll hit the enter key again, and then a city, comma, space, state, 
space, space, and zip. All right. If you want to see what that's going to look like, you can come up here to preview results. And again, preview results. And this will just pull over the first row or record, Shauna from Excel. It hasn't actually done the merge yet, but it just kind of gives you a preview of what it's going to look like when we're done. So I'll deselect that. We also need to put a return address over here, which I happen to have on my clipboard. So I'll paste that in, and this will be the same on every envelope, so we don't need any merge fields here. All right, just to make things a little bit easier to read, I'm gonna do a Control A to select all, and then I'll bump up my font size just a little bit so we can read that. All right, the last thing we need to do is just finish the merge. So back to mailings, we'll go to finish and merge, and you've got a few options here. You could send this directly to a printer, but I personally like mine to be merged into a document just so I can make sure everything looks okay before I send a giant document to the printer. So we're gonna say edit individual documents. We'll merge all records, meaning grab everything from Excel over there. If you wanted to only merge some records, for example, you could choose those here, but we're gonna go with all and then say okay. And here you'll see we've got a lot of envelopes. To be precise, we've got 71 pages, and each one has a different recipient name. So I'd recommend just going through, make sure that everything came over okay, there's no weird formatting issues or some lines that got pushed down to the next envelope, anything like that, and then you're ready to send it to the printer. So you can come up to File, Print. Here again, you'll see that each page is a custom size that matches your envelope. You've got custom margins and so forth. But basically, you just need to hit print. Now, one pro tip here, having done this a lot, I tend to send them in smaller batches. So if I have 100 pages, let's say, maybe I'll do 10 at a time, just by saying pages 1 to 10, or whatever the case may be. That way, if something goes wrong, like your envelope jams in the printer, or you have to reload envelopes or anything like that, it's a little bit easier to resume. So just a little tip there. But you are, of course, able to send the whole document at once as well. And there you have it. That's how to create envelopes using Mail Merge in Microsoft Word, pulling data from Microsoft Excel. If you found this helpful, check out the other videos on my channel, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you're notified of new uploads. Thanks so much for watching.